Well, welcome to day number two. We are waking up here in Jacob's Lake, or Jacob Lake, I don't know if there's an S on there. But Jacob Lake is at the, basically the entrance to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Fantastic uh, location. Um, <clears throat> a nice little campground here, Jacob Lake Campground. It is pit toilets, but they were super clean and didn't smell terrible. Not what you'd normally think of a uh, pit toilet. So we don't get a shower today. We will tonight. Okay, so we're going to make our way from uh, Arizona here um, in Jacob Lake all the way to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. So we have a long haul ahead of us. Uh, I don't know how much we'll stop and, and see things. We're going to head down uh, through what they call the Vermilion Cliffs area. Super beautiful, you know, a typical Southwest uh, type of scenery. Maybe I'll get some shots of that as we go. Um, there's an awesome little bridge down here. Um, there's a, also a little fire uh, lookout just right over here in the town of Jacob Lake. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can go up and uh, into that. Maybe I'll stop and take a look at that. Um, also, there is a little gas station with a store just across the street. And so that's Jacob Lake. Let's take a look at it, Jacob Lake here. This is our ca our campground area here. So as you can see, it's pretty sweet. Really nice. Okay, Jacob Lake. Here we are. This is a fire lookout. As you can see where there's smoke. So these guys would be able to look and see what kind of uh, smoke is coming out or fires and whatnot. So if you look up, this is how it, how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna see if I can't make my way up there. Well, so here we are. This is the view from up here. Wow, I'm still getting used to this here. Um, that's Utah, just over that way. And you, it's a little windy up here, sorry for that. Maybe I'll go panoramic here. That's a little better. So you can see huge views here. And uh, I can't go quite to the top. It won't let me. They've closed the top off. Um, that's the road that takes you into the Grand Canyon. And it's not too far from here. I know it's hard to believe. We're sitting at, well, up here in this thing up here, we're over 8,000 feet. That's why when we woke up this morning, it was a crisp, uh, 48 degrees a little warmer than I thought it might be um, and then of course it's uh, warming up so it's 50 now and as you can see up here that's the top right there and they've closed it off there's a little thing there they won't let you go to the cat nest or bird nest or whatever you want to call it <laughs> cat nest bird nest yeah. so there you go and then of course as you go down, it seems harder than going up, actually. And that is the bottom and the vehicles look kind of small from here. So a lot of fun. Three vehicles on a trip from Utah. This is really fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. So this bridge here, uh, you're entering the Navajo uh, reservation. You can see the four corners. This is the Colorado River and in this direction over here you go to what's called Lee's Ferry which is the Glen Canyon Recreation Area. So this bridge here this is a foot pedestrian bridge. That's the bridge you drive on. 
this bridge here is the pedestrian bridge. And so this pedestrian bridge is pretty cool. It gets you over, oh, there's Cassie. Yes. Really? An old overlook? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Like a little. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Uh huh. And so this is the Colorado River. And um, just right over here. Going up this way just a little bit is the Glen Canyon. <laughs> and these are the Vermilion Cliff area. This is uh, considered a national monument here. So I'm going to zoom in here. Susan just saw this here, underneath this bridge here. Oh my goodness! Ah, I'm zooming all over the place here. There he is. That's your California condor there. Boy, it's so touchy this thing. Yeah, he's just right there in the little bridge there. So those guys were almost extinct. Quite a comeback too. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have a nice little center here where you can um, probably have a little visitor thing. Not quite sure, but you know, seeing those condors down there, three different condors right here. And to think that those things were uh, almost extinct. The use of DDT, the chemical in the 70s, um, literally almost wiped them out, and now they're flourishing. Three of them right here in the Vermilion Cliffs. And I, there's more down the road, there's a viewing site, but I think that that was about as good as you get right there. So, what a great stop. I wish I would have stopped at the city before this. Um, city, that's a loose term. <laughs> um, but there's a little town just up the road called Cliff Dwellers, and there's some balanced rocks and some little uh, old cliff dwelling type thing. And, you know, you, you really need to make the stops and enjoy your trips because um, it's just so cool.